Today I'm going to teach you how to make a weighted lap pad. So first you need to gather all your materials. As you can see, most of it can be found in your home. You need about six plastic baggies, some rice or beans, an old pillowcase that you don't mind cutting up, and then some tape, scissors, and preferably a measuring cup and a scale if you have one. I already filled some of my bags, um, but the first thing you're going to do is go ahead and fill up your bags. There is a certain way to do it and you need to contact your occupational therapist beforehand to know exactly how heavy you want to make your weighted materials. It should be about 10% of your child's body weight, give or take, but always consult with your OT first. So I'm going to go ahead and fill my last bag. And then when you seal it, you want to make sure you get all the air out of the bag as best you can. Once you've filled up all your bags, the next thing you're going to do is cut small, about inch, inch and a half slits in your pillowcase here so that you can tie the ends to seal it closed when you're done. You don't have to use fabric scissors for these, but they are a little sharper. You want to make it sort of a grid pattern when you place the baggies. Just to keep in mind, this particular type of weighted lap pad should not be put in a washing machine because of the plastic and the tape. If you want one that can be washable, it's a good idea to sew it instead of using the plastic baggies. As you can see, there's a little bit of air left in this bag, so I'm going to try my best to get it out. You want to really make sure that all of your bags are sealed as tight as you can get them. So once you have it in a nice neat grid pattern, you're going to start taping the bags to the pillowcase. So this is what you want the inside of your blanket to look like. So it's nice, even distributed weight. And once you have that done, you can go ahead and tie all of the sides of your bag to seal it closed. So you literally take one from each end and just tie it in a simple knot. And so when you're consulting with your OT to find out exactly how heavy to make these bags, once you get the okay and know how much rice to put in, you'll want to use the scale so that you know you're making it the appropriate um, weight for your child. And that's it. You can make this with a pillowcase 
or old bed sheets if you want to make a blanket instead or you can buy fabric from the store and just use the same method with the two materials of fabric but tie it on all sides so that it's sealed and that's it